Hi, in this video, we're going to learn more about the setup for witness signing. Let me generate the document to show you how to set up witness signing. You see that I have two signature placeholders over here. One is for the signer and the second one is for the signer that witnesses the signing of the first one. Okay, let's send out the signing request. It's already sent out for signing. Before we look at the, uh, the details, let's take a look at how to set up the uh, witness signing configuration. When I configure my signer, I, the only thing I have to do is indicate that there is a witness signer required. So I can activate this checkbox and then the system assumes that the uh, second signer is going to be actually the witness signer. If we're going to take a look at the sign request that was generated, then we'll see that we have the original signer and we have a second signer that is actually the witness signer. And at this moment, we do not know who is going to be our witness signer just yet. I have received an email to sign my document and uh, let me sign my document right here. So this is now uh, the document that I need to sign. And if I scroll to the end, I can just click the sign button, and then it's going to ask me who's going to be my witness signer. In this case, if the person who's going to be my witness signer is going to be, let's call him Jack Russell. And as an email address, I will just put here an email address that I can easily look up. Okay, then I'm going to assign the witness. And after the signing the witness, the uh, normal signing process continues. So I'm just going to select here a signing uh, a placeholder and then continue with the signing. So my part is already done. Now, uh, if I would refresh the uh, sign request in Salesforce, you would see that the system now knows that the second signer is going to be Jack Russell and that has been an email sent to Jack Russell to make sure that he will sign the document. Let's take a look at the email that was sent. So this is the email and it already has been received. Uh, Jack has been asked to sign as a witness. So if I click the button over here, then you can see that my signature is already there. And now I'm gonna put in the signature for Jack Russell and that is the second signer. Okay, I'm gonna select this one and then sign the document. Everything is done. The entire signing process has already been completed. So let's take a look at my signing placeholder here. All the, uh, the signings have been done and you can see that the document was signed by all signers and also uh, an email was sent to uh, that, the, that the signing process was completed to both the signer and the witness of the uh, uh, signing. 